Hey everyone, today we are going to discuss an important lesion that is synovial sarcoma. We are going to discuss all the key features of synovial sarcoma including uh, histogenesis, morphology, um, we are going to capture the cytogenetic changes and uh, the treatment aspect. So please stay tuned and we are going to have lots of learning that will really help you out in various uh, exams and various other uh, aspects so synovial sarcoma as the name implies origin it, the origin it was thought to be from synovial sites the, joint, the the cells lining the synovial joints but later on it was being found that it is not only being confined to the synovial joint uh, it is also seen in various other locations like uh, intra-abdominal intrathoracic parapharyngeal head and neck location it can be seen in the visceral location it can also be seen and uh, the joints it is very commonly seen around the knee joints and also in the upper extremity joints also it is commonly seen and uh, it is uh, very commonly seen around the soft tissue of the thigh that uh, that is also a favorite site for synovial sarcoma so these are the common uh, sites that are being synovial sarcoma is seen so grossly it is uh, generally 3 to 10 centimeter uh, lesion and on cut section it is quite uh, flashy very well de delineated uh, lesion is there and um, it is um, microscopically composed of biphasic variant classically where you see epithelial uh, cells forming gland like structures and spindle cell stroma is seen and monophasic variants are also seen where either there could be a spindle cell um, stroma only or only gland forming elements are seen they, those are predominantly seen and even other rare variants like myxoid variant um, ossifying variant poorly differentiated variant that can also be seen so uh, we have certain immunohistochemical features that helps in our differentiation like epithelial membrane antigen is positive cytokeratin is positive and cd99 is positive these three markers are generally positive in all the cases of synovial sarcoma that helps in differentiation from other type of uh, uh, lesions synovial sarcoma almost accounts for 5 to 10 percent of soft tissue tumors itself so it's a common tumor and one of the other uh, ancillary investigation that you can do is a uh, cytogenetic study for translocation x18 genetic exchange between chromosome x and 18 and so there is a basically there is an exchange between cis18 and cisx uh, gene or uh, that is being uh, seen so these two particular genetic abnormalities are being noted cis18 and cisx1 cisx2 so those uh, genetic abnormalities and exchange is being seen so coming to the treatment aspect treatment in this primarily surgical and sometimes uh, in advanced cases whether it is more than 5 cm and it is inoperable then adjuvant chemo and radiation chemo radiation may be uh, tried as an adjuvant therapy or as an alternative mode of treatment so that's all the key features of synovial sarcoma which I discussed with you today. So let's have a quick recap uh, to summarize synovial sarcoma. Synovial sarcoma is seen in uh, large joints of upper extremity and lower extremity and it is also seen in internal location, intra-abdominal, intra-thoracic location and parapharyngeal location as well. Synovial sarcoma is identified by biphasic and monophasic variant uh, morphologically, microscopically and these are the classical variants and X18 translocation is the characteristic cytogenetic abnormality that confirms the diagnosis of synovial sarcoma this is very important and the other one is the treatment aspect uh, the treatment aspect that we discussed today is it is primarily surgical and sometimes chemo radiation may be contemplated in difficult cases so thank you and happy learning thank you for watching the video please subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon and follow in our different groups and please stay tuned for the next video see you in the next video thank you